All right, guys, start of another day. Another day we're uh, about to head to the water and, uh, well, in these tournament days you get up early. So there's the sun coming up and uh, we'll be one of the first ones at the boat ramp, but everything's ready to rock and roll. And again, this is another pre-fishing day for the crappie masters on the Ufala. So if you're interested in Ufala, this is gonna be a great episode for you because we're gonna be all over this place. Mid Lake, South, all that great stuff. So. We're getting tidied up here before we head to the water. We'll see you there. not gonna last long I can tell you that There's, I can already see grass right there so we'll just see what's out here real quick hit that uh put that Solix on standby would you there you go there you go oh it took a while. how much coaxing did that take Good night. Ooh. <laughs> In the dirt. That should be a good fish. Uh, you know, probably 1.2. <laughs> We're gonna see. Not even that. Not even that, maybe a pound. <laughs> there you go. Get an idea. Uh oh. That could be a contender. Got him. Yeah, I got him. That is going to be a contender. Weigh that one out. Keep him as well for picks. That's it. That's interesting. Might be our first tournament fish. All right, guys, I'm going to give you a, a rundown of the baits today. First and foremost, I want to thank our main sponsor, the Original Fish Formula. We couldn't do it without you. Um, thumbs up to the Original Fish Formula. Check out Bait Pop, um, all those great products. We've been using the, the Original Fish Formula on the hair jigs for the most part. At the end of the day, this bite is so easy here at this lake that uh we use you know we would use bait pop for kind of a carrier for the original fish formula on these baits but right now they're pretty much chomping on anything in terms of plastics today we're kind of using the brush pile jigs plastics a good assortment a good assortment of those and we've got the three pound fishing 13 footers going right now um, we're using 13 footers primarily because um we don't need a 16 footer again they're not getting spooked they're not running that far don't really have a need for it and we don't have to cast to them so 13 is just the right length it's a little tough in the wind i'm not going to lie uh, but 13 foot seems to be the sweet spot in terms of the length of rod three pound fishing rods that we want to use in terms of braid on this lake you fall up me personally i like the optimized 10 pound i think it's awesome i don't think that's an everyday uh, guy that comes here all the time if i'm fishing around timber i'm going to want that 12 pound but optimized is what i'm going to have on all my reels for the tournament so that's a rundown and right now we're going to pick another color give another color a shot and i'm going to go with something a little bold i'm going to go with the black and chartreuse right there for for this next fish oh we know what it looks like now that's a good fish though here's another one No, I don't 
think he's any bigger than that. Yeah, a little bit better. He's dropping down. Why are we? Why so sensitive? Oh, he's coming. I think he's more than the one six, but here's a good you follow crappie. I believe. So catching good fish on the black and chartreuse, I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it up to a orange head. Uh, one of my hair jigs here. Let's just see what we want to go here with. Actually, I think I'm going to go with my three pound catcher one right here. And what that does is it really does change the water displacement, the fall rate, a lot of different things. And um, I also like the idea that I can add the original fish formula. And I'll show you that here shortly. I'll show you exactly how I do that. All right, guys, shake it up. This bottle's been used quite a bit, so we're we're in low on it here. But got plenty of bottles in the boat right here. All I'm going to do is soak that Chanel with, and it gives it a sparkle. I don't know, hope you guys probably can't appreciate it as much, but it actually gives a, a massive sparkle because of the sparkle scales in it, which is cool. So I feel like I'm loaded down here. We're going to see how it goes. Hesitation, fish formula. Uh oh, come on, baby. I'm gonna keep her fish for our picture. Keep going. See if we. That was what in the dirt. Yeah. Barely gonna make picture for Oh, that one that was in between them too. Right there. Yep. Put him in the bucket just okay. so we have, we gotta get the four good ones. This might be a good one too. I don't know where else I can do this. Either he doesn't like the chartreuse jig or... Oh, he's coming. There you go. You had to see it quite a bit. Go ahead.
We're in this narrow creek channel. Check it out. Overcast day, but putting good sized fish in the boat for sure. Please subscribe, all that great stuff. Thanks, American Fish, the, the original fish formula, and all the great sponsors helping us out with the Elite Series. And uh, have a great one, guys.